doing last night? You were up pretty late, weren't you? Yeah, just, just doing my writing, man. Yeah, what class? Oh, it's for my literature class. We actually watched this French play called The Barber of Seville. Ugh. Yeah. What, had a, what's that about? Had a sick storyline, you know, guy-girl drama, political issues, all the goody tooties. Oh, wow. Yeah. That sounds pretty sweet. So, like, are you I'm, happy that taking that class, or...? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's all right. I've been actually thinking of writing my lyrics based off of it. <laughs> <laughs> Classic conservatory student. Hey, man. What are you up to, bro? I mean, I don't know. I was, I was up pretty late, too. My, I went to bed. Yeah, early. your li desk light was on till like, 2 o'clock in the morning? Yeah. Like, was, what was that about? No, it was, like, 4.30. I, I don't know. I've been writing this cool new piece. I think it's going to be pretty good. Pretty excited for it, but... Wait, yeah, wh I don't know. where are you headed off to right now? You don't oh, have I got uh, I got history of Europe. It's so dumb. Like, oh, you weren't working on your history homework? No. <laughs> Why would I do history homework? I lived it. Like, <laughs> I'm probably gonna go talk to the prof and tell him off or something. Like, <laughs> I, I don't. I already know everything, so why bother? Yo, why don't you say that to Professor K's face? I want to see his reaction. To that. <laughs> All right, I will then, Lorenzo. Yeah, uh, I'll see you at I'll see you at Saga 12. Oh yeah, yeah, totally, dude. You know what it is? Austrian goulash. It'll oh, taste dude. Home. All right, man. All right, see you later, Lorenzo. You tell Professor K off, right? All right, I will. So what's the problem, Mo Mozart? You're a bright kid. Why don't you put any effort in this class? I mean, okay, Professor K, look. I grew up in Europe with my dad, touring all over the place. So I know, like, the back of my hand, like, literally. And... I mean, I care about Europe right now, but it's just, I don't know, I, I don't, I, I haven't been able to get to your homework, that's why. Well, your grade is reflecting on it, so you better work on this, otherwise uh, you won't pass the test. Alright, all right, Professor K, thanks, I will. Come back anytime. Okay, thanks Professor K. Yes. Oh man, dude, I wish it was Chicken Tenders Day here. Dude, right? Tenders. Like, I'm just so getting tired of this saga, dude. I'm sick of history. It's oh. awful. Yo, speaking of history, what did your history professor say about you not doing the work? I, I just, I just told him, you know, I'm not gonna do it. I, I don't, I don't feel like doing my homework. Yeah, it's like, but it, it doesn't even matter, you know. Gen No, no, dude. You know what really matters? Yo, tell me about this, uh, this little stage play you've been working on. Dude, I've been waiting for you to ask me. Dude, Yo, I took tons of notes and I've been working till like 4.30 in the morning, bro. Give me the lowdown. Alright, alright. Okay, so that's interesting, Mozart. I'm, there's gonna be two characters, right? Two okay. characters. I like it's gonna it. be Figaro and his fiance Susanna. Mm, right? Strong they, name. They work for the Count, the sketchy guy that wants to take everyone's bride in their wedding. Dude, that sounds and fire. Figaro is trying to stop him and reveal what a phony he is. Okay. And there's okay. a steam of anti aristocracy. Oh, yeah. What do you think about that? Dude, that sounds. Like, so it's good. It's dope, right? Like, I, I wish I could watch that right now. Like, dude, it's hey, gonna be blockbuster. Do too. you have, like, music to set it to? Or, like, have you been thinking about that? Oh, or? dude, with my genius words and your instrumentation, yeah. dude, it's gonna be a <laughs> hit, bro. Alright, so you were telling me that you wanted to do an opera. Could you tell me more about that? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, here, I, I actually have some notes too, you know? Yeah, that got you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Yeah, that got you. You know what I'm saying, yeah, you know? Uh, so like, I was thinking like, Apra Buffa, oh, you know, dude, the sound it, it's kind of new, but you know what I mean? Yeah, dude. It's, uh, it's a new trend. Buffa comic opera. Comic yeah, opera, yeah. yeah. You know, I've been doing some, some sacred pieces, and they <laughs> just, they, mm. you can only do so much. So, oh, yeah, totally agree, so I'm man. thinking of doing some secular pieces, but, dude, wait, whoa, you okay, man? Whoa, what's going on? Bro, secular pieces? Well, yeah, I mean, you gotta switch it up every now and then, you know? Bro, that's kind of risky, isn't it? No, come on, I'm Mozart, I do what I want. Oh, but, okay, you're trying to start a new trend, alright, I like yeah, that. Yeah, but like, you know, it sounds like there's like some emotion in this in this stage play you've got. And you know me, I love making like emotions and music match each other, so like... Oh, yeah, I could dude. totally work on this, make it, make it good. Oh, but in order for that to happen, you need the right instruments. Oh, if, yeah, that's what, right, what that's right. Alright, um, let's see. Uh, I was thinking some flutes, oh, yeah, some oboes, you know, some clarinets, oh. maybe some bassoons, horns, trumpets, oh, timpani, yeah. probably some strings, you know? 
Yeah. You know, uh, send it off. Maybe maybe get a little keyboard in there. Oh yeah. yeah? Maybe write in Sonata form. Man, I love Sonata form. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Loving the vibe. The, the three-part structure with the exposition, the development, and the recapitulation. Oh. Ah. Oh. bueno. Mozart. Yo, what's up? Four acts. Okay. The climax at the end. It will be perfect for the comic book. Okay. Dude, Lorenzo, that sounds so good. What if what if this got huge? Like this could this could be a big Vienna, the Berg Theater premiere. No man. 1786. It'd be no. the biggest thing of the year. You gotta think bigger, what? man. <laughs> bigger? What's bigger than Vienna? Chicago. Chicago. <laughs> Chicago. Dude, imagine this amount of thousands of audience. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, hey, hey, let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We gotta write the thing first. Okay. Okay? Yeah. yeah. So. I mean, it sounds good. It sounds well, good. What do you think? I'm yeah. in. I'm in. I'm in. Okay. It actually worked. Okay. All right. All right. But like, I gotta tell you before we get started on anything that I'll be writing this in Italian. Okay. Because I wanna be yeah, sticking yeah, to yeah, my yeah. roots. Dude, Lorenzo, you do you, man. Dude. Okay? All right, hey, you you start doing the lyrics like and all you, that. Man. Hey. All right, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Well, oh, all right, what's going on? Something about. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta name it. We gotta name it. Uh, Figaro and, and the wedding, so. wedding. Marriage of Figaro. Figaro. Let's Bro, get a rule. All right, Let's do it. I'll, I'll start writing that music. Yeah, you Let's better get cracking. Uh, just taking a short break from our rehearsal of Marriage Figaro Act Four. Got Wolfgang Mozart over here. Our sopranos and altos are fantastic. About to get work done. All right, guys, enough chit-chat, back to work. Top of the fourth, let's go. Oh my gosh, Mozart. Our opera troupe was talking, and he, like, loved this song. Okay. No, seriously, it's uh. so good. I just love singing songs from Vienna composers because there's just so many Italian composers. Hey! Oh, not to say anything against you, Lorenzo, <laughs> but really, it's kind of like a rivalry that Vienna composers have for getting the opera troops to sing their songs. Uh, yeah, bro. Okay, hey, enough of this little yippy yappy. Back to work, let's go, come on. You ready? From the top of the fourth. No, I just, I really love it. I like how Mozart's music makes me feel like it's not just about Mozart, it's about me too. No, it's about me, so let's get back to work. <laughs> Marriage of Figaro, so good, right? Really so great. Good. It was awesome. Hey, what'd you think of Marriage of Figaro? How'd you think of Marriage of Figaro? Just go across Tilbury. Gotta text Lorenzo. All right, all right, here we go. So, Marriage of Figaro was a success for Mozart. 
With its premiere on May 1st, 1786 in Vienna, it saw much popularity throughout Europe and is still enjoyed today. While Mozart and libretto writer Lorenzo Dupont can't forget Lorenzo actual roommates are gone to Wheaton College, they did work on a few operas together. Mozart transformed the opera buffa genre and is one of the most popular composers of the classical period. His use of sonata and wide range of music of writing secured him a spot in history as one of music's greats.